to my manager Luke Garan after a 2-0 away win here at Oldham. Uh, Luke, I'm beaten in 2023, three wins on the bounce and another clean sheet. Happy with that? Yeah, listen, I felt that for the first 20-25 minutes we had to get to grips with their shape. They played a different shape, similar personnel to what we thought would happen, but they played a different shape with the lopsided four, Rooney coming in, then playing wide, trying to get Kitchen out, and I felt that after 20-25 minutes we managed the game superbly. Then we got the ascendancy, started to really get on top towards the end of the half, and I said to the group that they were probably more thankful that the whistle went as opposed to us. And they started the second half with their fans again on the front foot and then again we, we, we rode it out and that's what you've got to do in the National League. When teams are having spells we've got to be ensuring that we're right on our metal. There was a couple that flashed across the face of our goal. We really put some unbelievable bits of quality into our box and we were fortunate Ash come made a big claim and it was going to take something I felt to win the game. Paney gets the goal and then they're chasing the game and it was just lovely that the two substitutions combined to, to get the second. Yeah, talk us through that first opener. It's a great goal, wasn't it? Yeah, he don't shoot often. I don't see him shoot often in games or in training. Um, but he's caught it superbly. Just bounced just in front of the goalkeeper and then nestled in the bottom bin. We had one with Brunty where he's wrapped one and it's hit the post. And we was knocking on the door and thankfully Payne's come up with the goods. And yeah, no, really, really happy. And then we're a side that are quite dominant when it comes to going a goal up. We managed the game quite well and I felt we did that. And to go and get the second, which we've been crying out for in recent weeks, it, yeah, very thankful that happened. Yeah, both your substitutions there, Danny Newton and Dylan Lewis, how happy are they that they got an impact today? Yeah, hugely. I said to Newt, it's obviously no hiding away from the performance on Tuesday evening. And I had a good chat with him Thursday, I had a good chat with him yesterday. And I said, go and enjoy it. And he said, after the game, I had a really good time. And that's what he's got to do. He, he has an impact. He's... I wouldn't want him coming on the pitch. If you're leaving off Marsh in Enlove and you're bringing on Newton and Lewis, it's hard, especially with such late on in the game. You've got one that's stretching you, one that's going to go and beat you up. So the pick-me-up from the right foot, back, back, near post to back post, was class. George Broad bent in a great position and then Denny Lewis goes and gets the goal. But look, for me, happy, ecstatic. We're going back down the M6, M1. Back down south with a, with a clean sheet and three points. Yeah, another clean sheet just mentioned there. How happy are you with your defensive performance today? Yeah, listen, Will Evans comes back into the squad. Eric Sosa comes back into the squad. It's unfortunate that we've obviously got Dion Kelly Evans not making the 16 today. Mark Rickett jumps out from the subs. But I say it all the time. This is where I wanted to get to. We've got a squad now that are competing. They know, and this isn't a threat, the back unit know they have to perform week in, week out to ensure that they keep their shirt. And that's exactly what you want. The competition's frightening. The best thing about it is the group togetherness is unbelievable. Yes, there's a couple of lads that are probably hating me and want to kick my head in, but that's a given being a manager. All I ask is to ensure that that's not coming across in any training sessions or any, any in, uh, meetings or travel when we're going up and down the country. they got to stick together, and I think that's what they've been doing. Yeah, and still unbeaten in 2023, but does it sound better when you add the three wins on the bounce to that? Yeah, I think, what is it? We've played 12 games now. Won six and drawn six. Um, so what is that? 24 points from 12 games. And you look at what Wrexham and Notts County are doing. I don't know how Notts County got on today, but Wrexham are playing shortly against Maidenhead. And the work that they've done is incredible. They both deserve to win the league. For us to go and pick up 24 points from 12 games in the turn of the year is incredible. Two points a game. I think we're 55 from 34 games. Level twos would be 68. We ain't far off from being level twos in a season that... I think it's the most competitive in the, in the time I've been the manager here. So we've just got to keep doing what we're doing. Consistent, never too high, never too low. We go back down, we work again tomorrow, being myself and the staff, and then we'll prepare the boys in the best way to go and get three points against Maidenhead on Tuesday evening. Yeah, games are going to be easier, tough away game at Maidenhead. Are you full focus onto that now? Oh, hugely. I've already watched a couple of games of them, so we know what they're about. they got Wrexham at 5.20 shortly, and that's going to be a tough test for them. They're sort of a banana skin for Wrexham, and I say this hurt before the kickoff. It wouldn't surprise me if they went and got something. The way they've been playing, Halifax, I thought they were excellent. Dagenham, I thought they were excellent. So, yeah, and there's no easy game. I spoke to David Unsworth, the old and gaffer before the game. Anyone says about the National League, it's just relentless. And, yeah, it goes again on, on Tuesday, and the task is to go and get another three points on the road.